हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस वीडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदे गोटे इंपोर्टे जिनस भिडज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सट अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर एडभांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूशन प्रति भिडज पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकू ड्रप डाउन लिस्ट रू तुम क्लिक कर डाउनलोड पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे जो मोर चेल नेम अच्छी या क्लिक कर तुम ये प्ले लिस्ट को जा प्रति भिडज को यूनिट वाइज एज पर सिलबस सजे रखी थी तुम सर्च कर ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज टपिक थर्माल इभापोरेसन आम इभापोरेसन विषय पढ़ा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इभापोरेसन प्रोसेस इन केस ऑफ़ सिंथेसिस ऑफ़ नानो मेटेरियल्स सो इभापोरेसन इज ए कॉमन मेथड ऑफ थीन फिल्म डिपोजिशन व्वेर द मेटेरियल व्हिच इज टू बी डिपोजिटेड इज फर्स्ट हीटेड टू हाई वेपर प्रेशर इन वैक्यूम राइट नाउ द हिटिंग ऑफ द मेटेरियल कैन बी डन बाय टू वेज आइदर बाय इलेक्ट्रिकली रेजिस्टिव हिटिंग दैट इज जूल हिटिंग और बाय इलेक्ट्रॉन बमबार्डमेंट ओके ना इफ द हीटिंग इज डन बाय जूल हीटिंग देन इट इज कॉल्ड थर्मल इवापोरेसन एंड इफ द हीटिंग इज डन बाय इलेक्ट्रॉन बमबार्डमेंट देन दिस मेथड विल बी कॉल्ड एज ई बीम इवापोरेसन ओके सो फर्स्ट इज योर थर्मल इवापोरेसन व्हिच इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ थीन फिल्म डिपोजिशन एंड इज ए वैक्यूम टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर एप्लाइंग कोटिंग्स ऑफ प्योर मेटेरियल्स टू द सर्फेस ऑफ वेरियस ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके एंड दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट फिजिकल वेपर डिपोजिशन दैट इज पी भी डी टेक्निक ओके एंड इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर सिंथेसाइजिंग अ वैरायटी ऑफ ऑक्साइड एंड नॉन ऑक्साइड नानो वेल्स एंड नानो वेयर्स ओके एंड इन दिस मेथड द सॉलिड मटेरियल इज इवापोरेटेड बाय यूजिंग रेजिस्टिव हीटिंग एंड द एटम्स आर देन डिपोजिटेड ऑन द सबस्ट्रेट थ्रू अ कंडेंसेशन मेकानिजम राइट सो लेट अस कम टू द स्कीमाटिक डायग्राम ऑफ दिस थर्माल इवापोरेसन मेथड सो दिस इज द स्कीमाटिक डायग्राम ऑफ ए थर्माल इवापोरेटर राइट सो यू कैन सी इन दिस फिगर द इवापोरेसन सोर्स इज ए टंगस्टन फिलामेंट व्हिच कैन बी हीटेड बाय पासिंग हाई करेंट थ्रू इट नाउ द एपारेटस इज कैप्ड इन हाई वैक्यूम एंड इट कैन बी इवाकुएटेड बाय दिस मेकानिकल एंड हाई वैक्यूम पम्प्स ओके फर्दर देर इज रेजिस्टिव हीटर on either side of this evaporation source from which evaporation will takes place okay now at the top we have the planetary wafer holder which are having the wafers okay so at this planetary wafer holder the material deposition takes place in form of thin film and the whole apparatus is kept inside a bell jar okay now the substrate which is to be deposited on is positioned facing the source and a crystal monitor is mounted close to the substrate which will give you information regarding how much and how fast the material is being deposited okay further the pressure inside the chamber should be such that the mean free path of the atoms will become greater than the distance between the source and the substrate okay and the evaporation now takes place at a pressure considerably lower than the sputtering pressure and for this purpose inductive rf heating that is inductive radio frequency heating is the best compromise in providing large throughput clean environment and minimal levels of radiation damage and by throughput here we mean the maximum rate at which something can be processed okay now the deposition rate of this thermal evaporation method is actually few angstrom per second however the chief limitations of this method are the requirement of high temperature which is around 500 to 1200 degree celsius along with ultra high vacuum which is around 10 to the power minus 6 torr of pressure okay now let us see some of the advantages of this thermal evaporation method so number 1 it is the most economical pvd method that is physical vapor deposition method then evaporation occurs at pressure considerably lower than the sputtering pressure 
then it is capable of producing very high purity thin films then uses a strong vacuum environment for this purpose then the deposition rate is high and damage to the substrate during the deposition can be minimized and finally the source material can be in solid phase in any shape or form okay so we can take any shape or any form of source material which can be in solid phase okay however it has some of the drawbacks or disadvantages like number one requirement of high temperature and ultra high vacuum as you have discussed before then due to lack of movement and sight unevenness and inaccurate deposition may occur then poor surface coverage can affect the thickness of the film on the complex surfaces then usage rate of material is often low which can affect the quality of the deposited film and finally the high cost of the deposition okay now let us see some of the applications of this thermal evaporation method so number one is the thin films for photovoltaic application here you can use the thermal evaporation then anti-reflection coating in silicon based solar cells here also there is an application and finally the deposition of some of the metals like silver or aluminium which is to be used as electrical contacts that is in metallization during the IC fabrication that is integrated circuit fabrication so these are some of the applications of the thermal evaporation process now let us come to the second one the e-beam evaporation process so this e-beam evaporation is a type of physical vapor deposition technique and in this vacuum deposition technique instead of using resistive heating a highly energetic electron beam is used in order to melt the target material and form the vapor okay so the schematic diagram of this e-beam evaporation process is shown in this figure so as you can see the metal which is to be converted into vapor is taken into a boat which is then held inside a water cooled graphite or tungsten crucible okay so crucible means it is actually a ceramic or a metal container which is used for melting the metal at a high temperature now we have an indirectly heated tungsten filament which is the electron gun from which electrons are ejected in form of a beam and they are being accelerated to a high voltage which is about 3 to 40 kilo volt right so this is the high voltage at which the electrons are being accelerated and thereby they will strike the metal target here okay the electron beam will strike this metal target and thereby it will produce subsequent metal vapors okay so these are the metal vapors or the vaporized material which are going towards the substrate okay now in this process the electrons will lose their kinetic energy very rapidly and their energy will be converted into various forms now at sufficiently high accelerating voltages and beam current most of the energy of the electrons will be converted into thermal energy which is then used in melting the target material okay so the atoms or molecules of the vaporized metal will then pass through a high vacuum before they precipitate around the substrate and thereby will be deposited in form of a thin film okay so here for this purpose a very high vapor pressure is created in the space between the target and the substrate and it is a line of sight deposition technique from the crucible to the substrate okay now this method will allow direct transfer of energy from electron beam to the target material hence e-beam evaporation method is ideal for deposition of materials with high melting point like that of your carbon silicon tantalum tungsten etc which cannot be deposited by thermal evaporation method so this e-beam evaporation method has high deposition rate which is ranging from 0.1 to 100 micrometer per minute and also we know that electrons can be localized so it is possible to obtain a much localized heating effect on the material which is to be evaporated okay now let us see some of the advantages of this e-beam evaporation method 
so number one it has significantly higher deposition rates as we have seen then number two it has lower deposition temperatures then it has very high material utilization efficiency as compared to the other physical vapor deposition processes then number four it is ideal method for depositing the materials with high melting point and also it is very economical okay further it will have lower degree of contamination from the crucible that means we can have high purity films then it will have minimal heat damage to the substrate okay so these are some of the advantages now let us see some of the drawbacks of this e-beam evaporation technique so number one it is actually difficult to be a control process then improving step coverage is also very difficult then electrons may lose their energy by producing x-rays which may damage the substrate okay now finally let us see the applications of this e-beam evaporation so number one in durable hard coatings for cutting tools it can be used then in high performance aerospace and automotive industries for increasing wear resistance here also it can be used then for chemical barriers and coatings to protect against the corrosive environments and finally in the optical thin films solar panels and eyeglasses etc it can be used okay so this is all about the thermal evaporation and e-beam evaporation that i have taken from one book now this is what i have taken from another book about the thermal evaporation and e-beam evaporation but it has given in a brief and a concise manner so i advise you to read it also and find the valuable points and by combining from both the books you can make your note accordingly okay thank you